a number of people have asked me a little bit about what's this channel about, what is here, why is it here, who am I, and a little bit about the content. And I suddenly realized I've never posted a channel introduction to this YouTube channel to tell anybody what's all here. My name is Chris Molnar. I live in Babson Park, Florida, and I'm employed full-time by Porter Chester Institute based in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. We have um, nine campuses in Connecticut and Massachusetts, and at this point, three campuses from our one of our other institutes, YTI Technical Institute, in Pennsylvania. I serve multiple roles in the organization. I'm a curriculum team lead, I'm an HVAC department chair, and I also serve as the instructional technologist. As a curriculum team lead, my responsibilities include leading the curriculum development process. I'm responsible for some programs without curriculum chairs of their own. I work in, I train and work with the newer curriculum chairs. I'm responsible for ebook process and adoptions of ebooks and managing the ebook process. And I assist with budgeting for student services, supplies, and material. As the HVAC department chair, as you can guess, I manage the curriculum for the HVAC department. I try to be a resource for instructors teaching the program, and I maintain state appliance, state compliances in all the states we operate in, which is sometimes challenging given the fact that we have Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania, and all have a little bit different responsibilities. I provide training and support for newer instructors, and I maintain our master courses on our learning management system. As my unofficial role of instructional technologist, I provide tr support and training on Moodle, which is our learning management system, or LMS. I provide support and training on eBooks. I provide support and training on all additional instructional technology. And I assist our IT department in testing, troubleshooting, and resolving issues around instructional technology. My background is, a, is pretty wide. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Communications from Northeastern University. I have a Master's in Education from Northeastern University. And I have my Doctorate in Educational Leadership and Change from Fielding Graduate University in Santa Barbara, California. I also am a graduate of the same program I now manage. I have, I have a certificate in career HVAC from Porter and Chester Institute. We were used to be based in Wethersfield, Connecticut. I have a building control certificate from Northeastern University in Boston, Mass. And I studied agriculture and college prep in high school many, many years ago at Milton Hershey School in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Besides my work with Porter and Chester, I'm a Florida licensed mechanical contractor. I primarily do insurance company inspection work, real estate inspections, testing and balancing, third party troubleshooting. I do HVAC consulting, I do home energy audits, I do building envelope testing, and I can't get away from the fact that I'm primarily an educator, so I'm also a licensed and registered continuing education provider in Florida. Since you can't work all the time and you have to have a balance of life, I enjoy spending time with my five greyhounds. I'm pretty active in U.S. Master Swimming, do a lot of open water competition. And of course, that requires like an hour a day of practice as well to go follow the solid line on the bottom of the pool. I love reading. I love learning new things. I software developer by trade. Also, I always do always doing something around the house in my yard and gardening. Moving on, let's that's enough about me. Now let's talk a little bit about what you will find there. But we have to start with what is not here. This is not a channel intended for the do-it-yourselfer. This is not intended to replace competent vocational education. If you really want to learn a trade, you have to go to school someplace to learn the trade, and you have to do an apprenticeship. Okay, You can't just watch a YouTube video and say, okay, I can now service an air conditioner. No, you can't. You're liable to hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. So it's not intended to replace competent vocational education. What is here? It's recorded material to support or sometimes replace at times theory or lecture in a vocational education program. What I hope is that some of this material can be used for instructor training and continuing education. And it includes some material from some of our courses that we house here and link into our learning management system. 
The content is free to link into, as with most things that are YouTube. I'm not going to stop you. I do ask that you respect the copyrights and do not sell and download this, the, this material on your own. Some of the images found in the presentations are used under agreements with our textbook publisher partners as we are providing training. Some of the video material you will see in this channel does need to be upgraded and re-recorded. It was recorded over 10 years ago when I was just getting started in digital media. If you want to see something related to HVAC or education, please message me and let me know. One of the primary uses of a lot of this material is it lives in conjunction with the lecture material that our students have access to at Port or Chester Institute. Okay, we give them the lecture, but we also link in the videos so that they can go back and re-listen to it at a later time. You'll notice that a lot of my videos follow the same PowerPoint and slide format that I'm using in this introduction. The reason for this is simple. By using this format, I can record the identical materials that's used in our classrooms to give students something to go back and look at again. Okay, second, it provides the closed captioning all in one location so that people with some disabilities or learning styles like to see what that's being talked about. This could all be audio. I could be showing you fancy pictures that I've pulled from job sites and stuff like that. But there's something about being able to read as you're being talked to that some people do like. Please feel free to share, and I can't encourage this enough. Please feel free to share the links uh, to the videos on this channel, and more importantly, subscribe to this channel. As with all social media, the more people that view, the better off the channel is. Knowledge is power. Knowledge keeps people honest. While this material is not a how to do it for DIY individual, it can provide background to help people understand what is happening in their own homes and businesses. I can't urge this enough. Subscribe to this channel. Last month, we have over 12,000 views, and that's, that's easily over 12,000 views. I actually think that's within the last 48 hours, but we only have 835 subscribers. Okay, It makes a difference in my vote motivation to make more material available and upgrade outdated material. Please subscribe. So I hope that gives a little bit about what you'll find here. Okay, in our playlists on this channel, let's see if I can pull that up. Okay, you will find different playlists, and, and you're looking at my video manager now, so let's see if we can find the playlists real quick. Okay, you'll find the playlists where I've actually tried to group stuff into the different areas of HVAC and also different areas of instructional technology, course design. Um, we're still working on some national electrical code stuff, so that will be coming soon. And we're going to do more with troubleshooting. I have a continuing education course we're about ready to roll out in Florida. So we have a lot of material here. It's been tried to separate down. I urge everyone in connected with HVAC to take a look at the HVAC schematics playlist. And over my next focus that you'll be seeing over the next couple weeks is the direct digital control area. So that's a little bit about the channel. Enjoy, share, and subscribe.